So hello, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles today and a test ride of this, the BMW R1150R. Absolutely gorgeous machine, typical boxer engine on this, nice set of twin disc brakes in the front of this with the BMW calipers and it's got that standard shaft drive boxer engine on it. Just looking around the bike, has got the ability to put a top box on this, nice set of grab rails for your passenger and that stainless can, single can to the rear. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this one out, have a ride on this one and just tell you a little bit about the bike. Now once you're seated on the bike, so this has got 29,395 miles on the bike, but the dash on this, very very retro, what I do love, speed on the left, revs on the right, little clock up the centre and then all your function lights are here, all in the centre, everything you need on this bike. Uh, it's got heated grips on this one and it's going to take me a while to get used to this because this has the typical BMW indicators on this one so right is on the right left's on the left and the cancel buttons on the right so forgive me if I do leave the indicators on every now and then but it's one of those you get to used to once you've been driving a BMW for a while you get used to where all the controls are now obviously if you are a touring rider or you're looking to do long commutes this BMW 1150 is just a good old-fashioned chugger and it does the job very very well now the mirrors on this got the typical BMW round mirrors on it but I've still got I would say three quarters of a view in those mirrors my shoulders do take up quite a bit but obviously you can set them out quite wide but then once again I always say shoulder checks are a great thing to do so we're going to get this one out work through the box Now the one thing obviously with the boxer engine when you do rev them they do kick to the side it is a typical BMW thing and it's something that you get used to after you've been riding a BMW for quite a while. But just pulling through the gears and we're sitting about 3,500 RPM top gear that is 70 miles an hour. I'm flipping across the right hand indicator and just pulling it down on the back brake to start with. Now obviously, it's not gonna be like a sports bike feel on this, you're a lot higher up. But one thing about these, obviously I've ridden the big BMW 1250s, the GSs, and they are very high in the leg for me. Something like this. It does lean over, and obviously not leaning it too badly today because the roads are still cold, damp and wet. Remember how to cancel the indicator? I figured it out. It doesn't take me long just to figure out how to cancel that indicator. But let's just load up the speed. And there is shared loads of torque off that back end. What would you expect off a BMW with a shaft drive? And obviously if you had a chain on this, you'd be stretching that chain with the amount of torque that is coming off of this thing. But the six-speed box on it, working through obviously ignore the time it is not half past five it's about two minutes past two at the moment where we normally do our afternoon rides and it's starting to get a little bit overcast which is working that way down through the gearbox and we're just going to come in on the front brake this time clutch in and just ease down on that front brake and the braking efficiency on this is very very good but it's got that typical BMW boxer purr to it and just working under the bridge on this one. We'll give it a little bit of a rev. And you don't expect much noise off a GS engine or a boxer engine. But for a big old bike, it does steer very, very well. Obviously, it's not going to corner and handle like you would get from a sports bike. But it, if you do get your line on with a bit of counter steer, it does hold its line very, very well. And the one thing obviously with MB's MW engines, they are reliable. You're never ever gonna break one of these, obviously, unless you drop it and slide it down on the engine. But these engines just go on forever and ever and ever. Which is what you would expect, backed up by the BMW brand. So this is available from Eclipse Motorcycles. I'm gonna give the bike sales team a call on 01908 643603 link is down on the bottom right hand side and for an older bike it's in very very good condition for the year 
Now obviously I don't get to ride many of these BMWs. Yeah, this is very, very comfortable and refined. But the one thing I do like, and we were trying it when we were pulling out onto the road with all the cars, just check out how low you can just roll this bike through. But obviously with that boxer engine sticking out, you just got to be a bit careful of the profile if you are filtering through traffic, but it's no worse than if you was on a, a big bike with a set of panniers. So making our way back, this is the ride test on the BMW 1150R. If you are interested, give the bike sales team a call, come and view, and until the next ride test, it's a big goodbye from me.